Cooking with Guala is back. Uh, I'm just doing a quick little episode. I'm making my own hours. Show the pastine though, Joe, for Christ's sake. Show the pastine. You get the pastine in there. You know what I mean? I want to give a shout out to a couple of, th this is important today. A couple of shout outs. The food doesn't matter. Everybody makes a marinara. It's like a marinara. Hello, you're Italian. You can make a marinara. But uh, shout out to my sister Cheryl for this. <laughs> You know, you know, it's just saying. And for something else, sis, between you and I, from the bottom of my heart, um, I got some good friends, man. I got to tell you, I've been going through some crap and everything, but, you know, cooking is still the funnest thing I do. You know, I've actually touched base with a couple of little friends of mine, girls and guys, and uh, talked to Stephen Dietrich the other, yesterday, which was great. Um... The girls will remain nameless at this point because, you know, just, let's just, I was a fucking handsome fucking guy, Joe. You have no idea. You can get closer today. You know what I mean? Today you can get closer. Because uh, there's a song by Elton John that says, Someone saved my life tonight. Did you dare? She knows who she is. She did it today. She's been doing it for me for a long time. So uh, shout out to my friends that I've seen. Revere High School class of 1985. It's time to get our reunion going. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I gotta put some stuff in here, Joe. I think this is right. What do you think? Is it simming enough? We need to start getting some stuff in there. Yeah. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull all oh, of the pasty. Oh, the pasty. Like, you get like, my father used to make a, a marinara, like your mouth would water. Do you know, you know what? It, you know what? Your mouth only waters a couple of times. When your father makes gravy, like my father did, or if you with this girl I met in college, right? Her name was uh, Watery, no, whatever. Um, <laughs> it was a juicy subject. Anyway, we're gonna pass on that. Uh, Polly and uh, and Kimmy, we'll see you tomorrow. I mean, this kid just appears from everywhere, Joe. I mean, right? No, oh, everywhere. Wait, wait, let, me, hang on a second. let me show you Joe. Look how good Joe's looks. Look how good he looks. Seriously. Hey, look about the same. He's a Gualtieri <laughs> now, man. He's look, look at him. Look at Joey, motherfucker. I'm getting close to you. Like, how's that, imagine? No, I'm back off, back off, back bitch. Off, yeah. All right, now listen. I don't expect you to do much, bitch. Wow. <laughs> I'm just anyway, so I'm just going to add my regular spices. For for a marinara, it used to be for like an old Italian. It would be, but you, you'd start boiling the water as soon as it was done. I'm putting a little basil in, okay? Not much today. I, I know, I put in a little different than everybody else. A little garlic powder. A little onion powder. I could have had Joe make this today because he's been doing fantastic. You know, Joe knows seafood. No, nobody knows seafood like Joe. I just want you to know. He seafoods. He eats it. No, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just That's being. That's a twofer. I'm just being funny. Now, a little salt, right? A little salt. Uh, a little pepper. Always salt, pepper, right? Not too much. It's quick. Marinara is quick, right? And, uh,. All right, now I'm gonna do a little water. Can I walk by you? you yeah, where'd sure. you get that wonderful, fluffy shirt? I thank you, Auntie Cheryl. <laughs> Auntie Cheryl Enterprises. We all, yeah, Auntie Cheryl's been very good to us. And uh, I want to shout out to my sister Stacy too. I, um, after all I've been through, boy. No matter who we lost, I was left with the best two fucking sisters in the world, and I don't care that I swore. I'm sorry, I got left with the best two sisters in the world, and. I inherited a wonderful son. So it's been a beautiful thing. It's been a beautiful thing. You know, and you got lucky. And, and I inherited a beautiful family yeah, yeah. and an amazing father. And they love you. How could you not love Joe? Like, I mean, everybody loves Joe. Man, I'm sure I think fun. we're going to get a shirt. I'm going to feed all you motherfuckers. That's great, right? <laughs> uh, we're going to get a shirt. Everybody loves Joe. Now, I have this little thing that I, I freak out with that people... But I had three little things at the end. And there's one thing my father added at the end, and I, oh, that he never showed me, but I figured it out what it was. But I add just a little red pepper, a little crushed pepper, not much, just a little, right? Just a smidge. I add a little parsley, right? And then I take the picture like that. That, that now look at that, like the only, there's, the, you know what's better looking than that? Not much. But if you turn the camera towards me, I'm gonna say you. I, listen, I know in this house of four of us men, I might not be the best looking guy in the house, but I'm definitely amongst the top four. All right, I'm just gonna let you know. And uh, oh my God, I forgot the biggest ingredient of them all. Sugar. 
sugar. Sugar. You cannot make, and Paul decides, you know, Paul Lasala, yeah, you know, the guy who disappears, he's the one who decides to put it in this goofy, you know, that we make lemonade with. So I put sugar in it. I forgot to put sugar, imagine. And I'm sweet, like, girls know I'm sweet. <laughs> Every one of them that broke up with me. They're all saying, wow, he was a sweet guy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, shout out to all the people that helped you. Here's a look at my marinara. We're going to be adding, uh, making a little rigatoni with it later. Um, and we're going to enjoy this day because at the beginning of the day, it wasn't so great. So for the love of God, I have people that care about me and Joe and... I don't want to get emotional. But uh, thank you guys. I love you. We'll see you back on Cooking Wall shortly. Let me give you one more shot of Joe. Bam. Joey, say goodbye for the Cooking Wall show. For the Cooking Wall show, we'd like to thank you. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you, son. I love you very much.